This is about some Holy Ghost snake handlers. A boy. A boy. A boy on the floor. Down on the floor of a small wooden meeting house. Deep Appalachia. 1950s. A boy on the floor. Beautifully young. Pubescent blonde boy. Bend over backwards. Jerking and shaking. With eyes rolled back. Bang, bang. His head hits the dry plank floor. A telltale boner pressing an arch at the crotch of his homespun trousers proves his ecstatic fit is real. Snakes on the floor slither around him. They writhe in the hands of the Holy Ghost revelers, speaking in tongues, shouting in spasms. They pray as arms reach out to restrain him. He's got the Holy Spirit. Anyone can see it. got the Holy Spirit. Bang, bang. Snakes. Tongues. Whoops and hollers. Crude wooden meeting house. Deep Appalachia. Hallelujah. America. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. <laughs> you'll ever need are right up here. Believe me, I've tried them all. Acid, mushrooms, ecstasy, Prozac, cocaine, Valium, Novocaine, Tylenol, Benadryl, Poppers, Tetracycline, Robitussin, Chocolate, <laughs> Codeine, <coughs> Vicodin, Percocet, Demerol, Ambien. Alcohol, hashish, morphine, speed. Look no further, because all the chemicals you'll ever need, they're right up here. It's very subtle. You just gotta tune into the subtlety. Here's what you do. Sit yourself down in front of a large mirror. Light a couple candles on either side.
close the drapes, turn out the lights, put on some mood music, and sit down right up close. Now, look yourself straight in the eyes for 10 or 12 hours. You won't need any drugs. And you'll never be more entertained. <laughs> Seven seconds of space. <laughs> <laughs> Things hadn't gone a certain way. 
here and there. My world would have been simple and small and largely satisfying. See, I was that girl, innocent and natural, a long time ago, before the change, before the Hydra swooped in with its seven swerving heads and lunged in my soul the first time. But really, I wouldn't go back. I don't regret the battle or the awakening. Though sometimes a sadness floats up from the memory of the girl I was and the ghost of the woman I almost Oh. Thank you so much, and if I had timed it perfectly, the music would be over by now. <laughs> it's over now. <laughs> All right, and, and I thought I timed this out to be 15 minutes total, which means I have one more piece. You're good. You've got right. two minutes, yeah. I got two minutes? Okay. Two and a half. All right. Rocket girl. Should work, huh? This is a little thoughts on reincarnation. I'd like to come back as a stone. An unremarkable stone. Just sitting in someone's backyard or laying out on some rugged range far from the eyes of man. Way out where no one would ever set foot. I have a theory that Stones are actually the highest form of life. That they evolve so far as to have no need for consciousness. No need to toil, or think, or feel, or do, or wonder. No need to hope, or dream, or try. All we must do is be. Unnoticed, unsung, unencumbered by care. I'd like to come back as a stone. I think when you reach nirvana, and then surpass it, you become a stone, an unremarkable stone. I'd like to come back to the stone. Hey, thank you so much. Oh.